My channel my name's Sarah and this is like so amazing today's video is going to be my June plans video so I know we're already a little way into June but I thought I'd share with you the things that I want to make this month so let's get started so the first thing on my list and it has been as soon as I saw the pictures when it first came out it's the Jenny overalls by closet case patterns so it's a really kind of 70s retro vibe. I'm going to make the shorter length. So they're kind of a wide leg, they've got a high waist, and I just think they look beautiful. So what I'm going to do is make quite a summery pair, because I've got some dark denim Miele dungarees, so I feel like a nice summery pair would be great. And I have already started them, but this is the fabric that I'm making them from. So it's this lovely mid-weight cotton. So it's green with cream flowers, kind of ivory colour flowers. Kind of a medium sized flower actually, so a really nice size, not too big and bold. So I think that's gonna be perfect for these overalls. I can see it just being really fresh and spring-like. So very excited about those. And because I have a feeling that I am going to absolutely love these dungarees, I am going to try and make a second pair as well while I'm kind of in the zone. And I've got this gorgeous cheetah print. So it is a cotton sateen. It's got a little bit of stretch in it. Doesn't need stretch at all for this pattern, but I'm sure this will be absolutely fine. So... Yeah, I think these are going to be great, worn over like a black top or something like that. So yeah, I think these are going to be great too. I can genuinely see myself making about four or five pairs of these overalls. But I'll try and just get the two done this month. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get the second pair made, but I will do my best. And to go with the Jenny overalls, I think that I need just a couple more little basic tops. So I'm going to have a go at the Nico pattern by True Bias. I haven't got any fabric in mind yet, but I'm thinking of maybe a white or a cream. And I'll make the sleeveless version, I think, to begin with. So the pictures I've seen where other people have made this have been lovely. So yeah, looking forward to making that one. So for the Sew My Style Challenge for this month, the pattern is the Suki Kimono by Helen's Closet. So I'm going to make myself the daytime cover-up hack that Helen's done on her website. I'd quite like to wear mine out and about rather than as sort of a house coat, robe, that kind of thing. So I'm going to need your help because I've got two fabrics in mind for this. I've had them both into the shop quite recently and I love them both. I just can't decide which one is going to make the nicest Suki. So the first one is called Blossom Reflections and it's this one here and it's a beautiful turquoisey blue with these lovely pinky coral flowers really quite sort of Japanesey, lovely drape to it and it's got a linen sort of look to it I don't know if that will show up on camera but it's a viscose and it's absolutely beautiful really lovely and soft and drapey so there's this one and then the same fabric just in different design it's Carly Gardenia this one's called and it's a peach colour with white and sort of beigey brown leaves on it. I think they are both perfect for the Suki, I just can't decide which one. So let me know which one your favourite is in the comments below. Um, if you've got any strong opinions, I love them both. You never know, I may, may end up with two, but probably not this month. And then I'm also taking part in a sewing day that Anna from Kokowara Crafts is putting together. And we're all going to be sewing her latest pattern. So it's the honeycomb shirt and dress. If you haven't seen this one already. And I'm going to make the shirt version to begin with because Me Made May showed me that I needed a few more separates in my wardrobe. So I'm definitely going to make a summertime version. You can use all kinds of different fabrics for this pattern. Um, she recommends sort of wintertime fabrics and also summertime fabrics. But again, I haven't quite made up my mind because I've had another couple of new fabrics in that 
both would be lovely. So again, you can voice your opinion in the comments below and let me know which your favourites are. So they're both blue. The first one is called Friendship Migration and it's cotton lawn. In fact, they're both cotton lawns. And it's this beautiful grey blue colour and it's got these geese on it. So the geese are all different sizes. So I think with some clever cutting, I can really do some nice placement of the geese on the top. So that might work really nicely. Or with the other one is this really pretty silver leaf cotton lawn. Really soft and, you know, perfect for this kind of top. And it's, again, a sort of grey blue colour with little white and red leaves on it. So you'll have to let me know which your favourites are in the comments. So the other things I'm going to be getting up to this month, so I'm going to Blogtacular, which is a big conference in London, in a couple of weeks' time. I'm going to the Handmade Fair, which is coming to the Southwest this year, which is going to be amazing. And I'm going to the New Craft House Summer Party. So pretty much every weekend is chock-a-block, but it's going to be great fun. The other things that I'm getting up to, I have been organising a couple of events. So on the 15th of July, which is a Sunday, I'm having a pop-up shop. So I'm taking my fabric out to the world. So it's going to be based in Bristol. I'm running it along with Louise from So Scrumptious, who's really lovely. Um, I'll put the event details in the description. So if any of you are in the southwest of England and are free on that Sunday the 15th of July then please please come along because we'd love to see you there. It's a free event, just need you and you can come and have tea and cake with us and stroke all the lovely fabric. And the other event I've been organising is the Socialite Soiree. So this is with Jen from Gingerella and Nikki and Rachel from the Stitch Sisters. So hopefully you'll have heard about this event already. It's already sold out which is amazing. So we put the tickets on sale last week and they sold out really quickly, which is wonderful. It's an event that we're holding in November, November the 10th, and it's in Bristol again. So it's going to be a big party for all the sewing community to come along, show off your handmade frock, have a dance, have a drink. So we're really, really looking forward to that one. So I've been spending lots of time organising that already, but yeah, there's going to be a lot more organisation going into that over June as well. If you didn't manage to get a ticket, keep your eye out because we may have a few more that we can release, but um, can't promise anything just yet, but we will let you know. So yeah, bum per month, but really looking forward to everything. Now, Jasmine was gonna get involved in my last video, but I kind of forgot, but she's here. She's been hanging out with me, just chilling out and sleeping really, but she says hi. Here she is, beautiful girl. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. So don't forget to leave me a comment with your fabric choices for my honeycomb and my Suki. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already. I've just reached over 4,000 subscribers, which is wonderful. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. And I'm gonna see you very soon. Thanks so much, bye-bye.